Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Today is Thursday, September 9th. Here's a look at commodities on the market today. Oil is falling slightly this morning as OPEC cut back its forecast for demand from member countries as production outside the group rises. Meanwhile, a weekly increase in U.S. crude supply, as reported Wednesday by the U.S. Department of Energy, is likely to keep a lid on any significant gains in oil prices. Brent crude is down by one tenth of a percent at $78.08 a barrel this morning. Light sweet crude is up by four tenths of a percent, $74.93 barrel and natural gas is up by a tenth of a percent, two dollars and eight cents a million British thermal units. Headlines this morning, the 12 member organizations of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries accounts for about 40 percent of global supply and the Vienna-based agency sees world demand for oil reaching 28.8 million barrels a day in 2011, about 100,000 barrels less than previously expected. Korea National Oil Corporation is seen to be closer to clinching its hostile takeover bid for Dana Petroleum as investors accept that KNOC will not increase its offer for the company. Dana shareholders have until September 23rd to accept the offer. JSC Gazprom Neft has closed a five-year pre-export finance facility for $1.5 billion. The oil unit of Gazprom OAO said the facility will pay a margin of 2.1 percent over Labor after it lowered the margin on its initial $1 billion loan from 2.4 percent over Labor. The day after releasing results from its internal investigation into the Gulf of Mexico oil spill, which had placed blame not only on itself but also on Halliburton and Transocean as well, BP reported flaring at a Los Angeles refinery. Meanwhile, Holly Corporation reported a leak from a naphtha vessel at its New Mexico refinery. The unit has been shut down for the time being. Gold, on the other hand, continues to inch up as worries about European banks persist on the one hand and concerns about overall global demand remain on the other. Speculation is growing that European banks will find it difficult to raise funds, leading the euro to weaken against the dollar. Gold is up by two tenths of a percent, $1,259.50 an ounce, while silver is up by one tenth of a percent, $20.03 an ounce, and copper is down one and a half percent, $3.45 a pound. In the mining sector, Gulf Clough Gold reported a 56% increase in gold production for the first half of the year, adding that it expects to reach its target of producing 100,000 ounces of gold in 2010. I'm Chrissy Duffy for Smart Trend News. That's a look at commodities on the market today. For more news and market analysis throughout the day, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Trade the Trend. Also visit our website, tradethetrend.com, for more headlines.